Welcome back to another episode of Raising the Bar, TKJE Podcast. Today we hear from the owners of GC Attire, Harold and Victoria Lujan. Their passion for making a positive impact in the lives of others have led them to create Game Changer Attire, a brand that not only offers stylish and comfortable clothing, but also carries a positive message. They're hoping by wearing their custom graphic tees, you'll feel empowered and motivated to strive for success and overcome any obstacle you may face. They aim to break the stereotypes and barriers that often hold people back from achieving their dreams. They believe your past doesn't define you and anyone has the ability to change their future with determination and perseverance. Their vision for Game Changer Attire goes beyond just selling clothes. They want to create a community of individuals who share the values and beliefs as they do. In a world where success is often associated with material possessions and privilege, they want their brand to show that hard work and dedication are the true game changers. Plan your steps and take flight. TKJE, Raising the Bar. Welcome back to another episode of Raising the Bar, TKJE podcast. Today, we hear from the owners of GC Attire, Harold and Victoria Lujan. It is, I've been excited about this one. I've been wanting to get you guys on. How are you doing today? We're doing good. How are you? Hey, fantastic. I tell everybody, you know, I really don't have bad days. You know, right side of the dirt, we're breathing. It's just choices after that. Um, so let's go ahead and get started um, with your questions. Um, I really, I'm excited to have everybody hear your story and how you got to where you are today. So um, from the beginning, like what inspired you to start this business and go into this, into this field? Um, so it really started when our daughter joined the West Mesa Phillies dance team. Um, she has some pretty uh, hard ass coaches that <laughs> really liked everything to be perfect. And a lot of like the parents job was to pretty much make sure that their clothing was spot on. They wanted everything to sparkle, wanted everything to shine. You know, when their girls got out there on the dance floor, they really just wanted the girls to stand out. Um, so they kind of brought out that creative side in myself. I didn't know that I was really even creative and I didn't know that I would even like it. <clears throat> and so the first day I met them, they were like, well, we like all the moms to get together and um, rhinestone all the girls clothes and you have to make clothes sometimes. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm not creative at all. <laughs> um, and they were like, well, we will teach you. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well then that kind of turned into something different where I was like, they're charging us to do our own work. <laughs> yeah. so I was like well maybe we could turn this into something different so then it kind of started me and my friend kind of were like well let's just see what we can do so that's kind of where where it started was me and my friend were kind of like doing some things on the side and um then eventually Harold was like well you and I can I think you and I can you know grow a su successful business and then that's when you kind of talked to Harold at basketball practice about, you know, some business stuff. And he was like, we can really turn this into a business. So then him and I kind of went on our own and decided like we could really make something out of this. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a good experience to see um, how she grew at the beginning of the, the, the whole idea of us uh, running a business. Um, you know, I, I, managed a lot of things throughout my life uh in in my business aspect in the work that I did uh and I just saw a sparkle in her eye and I told her I was like you're you're very talented at what you can do um I feel that you have a great product uh I think with the knowledge that both of us have we can we can you know take this to the next level and then we started you know sitting down and writing out our business plan uh and it looked really good and uh you know we went for it wow OK. All right. So sometimes that happens. Right. You you start doing one thing and it kind of rolls over into something else. Now, when it comes to kind of the leadership, um, as you were saying, it was something that you were going through and you kind of took the leadership role. Um, when it comes to kind of that role as being a leader, what are the key leadership qualities that you believe contributed to the success 
of your business as it got started and as it's moving forward? I think I think a lot of a lot of it has to do with um, having passion for what you do. Um, you know, you have to have respect for your relationship uh, with your partner because she's not only my partner, <laughs> she's my wife. Uh, and we bounce a lot of ideas off each other. And, uh, you know, just having the trust in in our vision and where we want to take our brand. And um, I think if you uh, set a vision and you're dedicated to it, um, I think uh, you, those are key things for you to move forward in your business uh, and taking it to the next level. OK. All right. All right. Solid. So um, in in your line of work, when it comes to your business, um, I know there are some risks that have to be taken, right? That you got to look at the good, the bad, and the ugly and and take some risks sometimes. So can you share a story of a major risk that um, that you took that led to a significant reward? So when we first started out, we were our plan was to use like a third party print company like um, Printify. Um, to do all our printing and shipping and do everything. We just pretty much get the orders and then we just kind of submit them through that third party service. So that was the route we took first. Um, the risk we took was about a year ago, we decided to um, purchase our own um, printer, our own press, our own equipment to basically do everything ourselves. Wow. Um, that did come with obviously an added expense. Um, but we also found that by doing that, we didn't only, we weren't only limited to our brand itself and to sell only our brand, which I mean, that is the main focus is our brand, the GC attire. Um, but now we can also kind of branch off of that and we can do uh, more things like um, more like print shop services um, and take custom orders. So it does open like another door for a second stream of income. Okay. So then it's uh, you can scale to uh, to other other objects. So that's really cool. Um, now, as far as lessons learned through through all of this, and right, we're all still learning lessons, making mistakes, and learning from those mistakes. What are some of the most important lessons um, you've learned from? some of the failures or some of the mistakes. And I don't like to say failures. It's more like learning opportunities um, as you've been on this journey. Yeah. Like I tell Harold, I should have just, we should have just named the business um, trial and error because <laughs> 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 along the way, there has been so much trial and error. There has been, um, you know, quite a few mistakes along the way, you know, a lot of like, you know, things that didn't go right. Um, but I feel like my biggest, um, maybe my biggest mistake or my biggest lesson that I've learned was um, not allowing other people to pretty much dictate my worth or even our worth as a business, period. Um, you know, there was an instance where, you know, I had done some work. There was a middleman. And it was pretty much like I set the price. It was agreed upon. And then at some point, I don't know where the conversation turned. And then it was like, oh, well, I'm only going to pay this much. Ah. And I'm like, I will never do that again. I will never allow somebody to speak for me or for us as a business. Um, even, you know, if you know that person directly, you know, I need to talk to them directly. We will do the business between the two of us. And I don't need a, a third party. So to me, I just think it's it's easier for me to just be direct and, you know, not not allow somebody to speak for for us. I got you. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. And sometimes we have to um, learn that way is trial and error. So and, I, and I've been there. So definitely understand <laughs> now um, as you build your business, as it scales out and um, I know you've got kids and people want to leave something behind when it comes to what you leave behind or your legacy, what legacy do you hope to leave behind through your business endeavors as you learn, as you grow, and as you develop? Um, I feel like I want to, you know, show my kids that 
it's never too late to try to achieve something great. Um, hard work and dedication will always pay off. Um, no matter what you're doing, as long as you love what you're doing, as long as you're putting 100% of your effort into that, it's going to always pay off. Um, so I want them to see how hard Harold and I worked um, for our business and to just be that example for them. So that's the legacy I want to leave for my my kids um, is to show them that hard work does pay off and to continue to push and work hard for everything, you know, that they want to accomplish in their life. Um, as far as our legacy that we want to leave as far as our business endeavors, you know, we just kind of want to leave that as like our game, game changer goal is like for everybody, no matter where you come from, no matter your situation, if you work hard, you dedicate your time, your effort and give it 100%, you can always change your life. You can always change your situation as long as you continue to push, push forward and give it your all. Yeah, no, you're just playing off of what Vic said, you know, uh, in the world now where success is often, often associated with material possessions and privilege, uh, we want to show that our brand uh, does reach out to a lot of people in the same situations that we came from when we were younger, where we didn't have, uh, you know, per se, those kind of things for uh, from our family and, and trying to change our generations that are coming up. Uh, is a big, big goal of ours. And, and that's what our community uh, basis is about. And that's where we want to go with the brand itself. Wow, I love it. Well, um, you know, you guys, I'm, I'm personally, I'm just really proud to see how far you've, you've come, you know, and I remember that conversation, Harold, and um, I just hopefully I wanted to plant a seed and uh, see what it could do. And I'm just really impressed with what you guys have been able to achieve um, thus far. And the other part is, is that you're both still working, um, building a business with kids and, you know, growing together is is just really awesome. Now, when it comes to your products and everything that you offer, I must say um, this shirt, I did, it did come from you. It fits great. Um, I love the material, uh, everything about it. The, the process when I ordered this shirt through your website was very simple. So, um, you know, I know that Everything that you put out is is quality work. Now, how can our listeners get a hold of you and and order some of your some of your products? Uh, you can go uh, directly to our website. Uh, it's www.gcattire.com. Uh, we do also have our social media: Instagram, uh, Facebook, and TikTok. It's all GC Attire. Um, you know, if you guys want to reach out to us at any point and ask some questions about a- anything that you need, uh, you can get a hold of us at info at gcattire.com. Again, I appreciate you guys, um, you know, love to see the success, the growth. And I know you guys are going to do uh, do really well as you move on on your journey and create more products. And I, I know you have a big list of things that you want to do, want to accomplish. So, you know, from from me to you, much success and uh, many blessings to you as you uh, develop your business. Appreciate Thanks. you. Have a good one. All right. Take care. Boom!